Hi guys, welcome to Spark TV. My name is Lily and I'm an abstract artist and a teaching artist. Today I'm going to show you the basics of how to create an abstract drawing. Abstract art often uses lines, shapes, colors, and form to evoke emotion. Wassily Kandinsky is a famous abstract artist, and today we're going to create a drawing inspired by one of his paintings. He uses music as an inspiration to create forms and poetry on his canvases. So let's get started. When we create abstract drawings, we often want to think about different types of lines, shapes, forms, color, and expression. How can we use these things in different ways to create an interesting drawing that evokes our feelings or emotions? Creating abstract art often allows you to become very free in your emotion. The first shape that can come to mind can be a triangle, or a square, or a circle. The shapes that Kandinsky was most interested in were the circle, triangle, and the square. He thought that the triangle could cause feelings of aggression, squares could emit calm feelings, and the circle could emit spiritual feelings. Abstract art is all about placing lines and forms in a way that you see fit. So I'm going to first start by sketching a few ideas. Anything that comes to mind, whether it's a line or a shape or even overlapping shapes or lines, okay, put them down anywhere on the paper. We generally want to use the entire page for our composition so we have a nice balanced piece. So try not to put your pieces closer together. Try to spread them out so that they fill the entire page. You can have geometrical shapes, like rectangles, rhombuses, trapezoids, or you can explore organic shapes. Natural forms that are inspired by your imagination or by forms found in nature. Kandinsky believed that he could use shapes and lines to follow the movement of music. Whether lines were curved or jagged, like a jazz impromptu. Okay. So I'm going to keep sketching with my pencil until I feel like my entire sheet is filled. I often try not to think about what the shape looks like until it actually is drawn on paper. I feel this is the most freeing for me. Once I feel like my entire sheet is filled with shapes, I can then move on to color. Colors can evoke lots of different types of emotions. You can outline shapes or you can use color to fill shapes. Or you can use color to create patterns. There are no rules to what you can or cannot do. You can use as much of one color as you'd like or if you feel inclined to use a different color, just simply because you feel like it, go right ahead. Don't be afraid to mix and match colors or even overlap colors. When it comes to creating abstract art, there are just simply no rules. It's a visual representation of something that can be completely imaginative, something that doesn't exist in real life. Different colors can evoke different types of emotions. Green or blues sometimes make us feel calm, whereas red or orange 
can make us feel angry. Color is a powerful tool when we're making abstract art. You can mix colors. You can see what happens when you put a different color next to another. I'm really just allowing my intuition to explore the forms and the lines in new and interesting ways. And because I'm using markers, I can create thin lines or thicker lines and see what type of feeling those forms emit. I think my piece is starting to feel really calm. I'm using lots of greens and blues and lighter colors. You'll be surprised how the final piece ends up. When we're creating abstract art, sometimes it's very unplanned and we don't have a final image in mind. As we're working, the shapes just naturally evolve onto the page, creating something that might surprise you. And that's part of the beauty in creating abstract art. You can explore different ways to color and fill your shapes. Maybe sometimes they're outside the box because that creates a different type of feeling. Push yourself to do something that might even feel uncomfortable. Mix and match different styles, different pressures. You can be light-handed or you can be heavy-handed and see what different type of feeling those types of lines can create. Lighter lines can create a sense of sensitivity, whereas heavy-handed lines can feel dark or heavy. Abstract art is really not about achieving perfection, but it's about finding a way to create expression. Can I overlap colors? Can I find new ways to draw shapes? Can I mix and match and overlap outlines or forms on top of each other. Sometimes when we're creating abstract art, we have an initial idea and then the idea slowly evolves into something completely different. This is often the nature of abstract art. Sometimes I like to use a really dark color, like black, to go back and outline or to add even more details to create additional layers on top of my art. As the artist, you can decide when the piece is finished. The more colors you use, the more layers you fill, the more complex and interesting your piece will be. But remember, there is no right or wrong. Abstract art is really a freedom, a free way to express and create. Test it out for yourself and see what you find. I'm sure you'll end up surprising yourself. Allow your intuition to take hold and creativity to take flight. Try to fill your entire page so that, the so that the composition feels balanced and you have an even distribution of forms all over your page.
that feels pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna stop right there. And there you have it, guys. I hope you had fun creating this abstraction. See you next time.